Today I'd love to talk about your vision in photography. I've been shooting for about seven years now, um, started in mid 2010 and you go, everyone goes through this phase where you try everything, you take photos of flowers, you're taking wide angle photos, you're taking telephoto photos, you get a zoom lens, you try bands, you try parties, you try everything and over the course of time hopefully you figure out the things that you really love doing and for me that was that quickly turned out to be portraits I've always loved doing portraits um, and over time my processing style has changed my I've expanded into landscape photography street photography I've done weddings I've done parties I've done events I've even shot a few music videos. Um, a couple of years ago I was really into the cinematography, editing, directing. And what I've realised in the last couple of years is just exactly what my vision is with the photographs that I take. Um, it doesn't, it's, it's an abstract thing, it, it applies in, in the way I choose my colour, in the way I choose my framing and most importantly in terms of gear, what lenses I choose. And so I'd like to talk about how your lens choice affects the style that your photographs portray, um, what your vision is, and how certain lenses can produce effects that you might not like or that might not match your vision. Um, I know that for a long time I haven't used a wide angle lens, and by wide angle I mean uh, wider than say 35 millimeter. For 35 millimeter, in as in my other video, is my perfect focal length for travel photography and street photography, even portraits, uh, landscapes. And I never go wider because it affects the way the perspective is perceived within the photograph. Um, one thing I find is that for me, I don't want the perspective to be a feature of the photograph. I don't want it to be obvious and when you go to 24mm, when you go to 21, even 15, which is I've almost never used a 15mm lens, um, it really starts to creep in there and your angles become angles unto themselves and you lose that feeling of um, being in the moment, in the scene uh, with the landscape or the uh, environmental portrait. And so with that um, knowledge of perspective in mind, uh, especially with the wide, wide angle lenses, is my vision has always been rooted in cinema, I think. I, I've, I've done a few music videos and I've always watched DVD special features, now Blu-ray special features. Um, I've always been fascinated with cinema, um, cinematography, even directing and editing as well. And so what I really want to portray is the feeling of being there um, with the way I choose my colours and the, the flatness of the perspective. Um, I find a 50mm is really nice for a landscape. 35mm um, is still kind of flat. Um, it feels like, still feels like you're peeking through a window. Um, and so I've got some prints here. I've got some A3 prints. They're not actually printed to the A3 but with a bit of a mat. Um, this is driving to Queenstown in Tasmania from uh, over, over the west side. Um, I took this out of the car and this is all 35mm by the way. Oh, I think one of these is 50mm. Um, but it really gives you a feeling like you are there in the scene. Here we have um, Fingalhead a couple of weeks ago and if you can see up close it really feels like you're looking down and experiencing this scene happening. And one of my most recent prints is um, from Mount Greville. This is 50 millimeter. And as you can see, it's sort of like, it, it feels like you're peeking through a window. Like a, one of the most important things in cinematography is the framing of your shot and the composition and with a, a wide angle lens, while there is a lot of use of wide angle lenses in cinematography, for me when I take a photograph, it's because it's a still photograph, it's not a moving picture, it's not about the action that's taking place, it's about the composition of what's in the, in the photograph and the colour and the perspective. And so a wide angle lens really calls out the perspective as part of the photograph itself, whereas I don't want to use that. Um, and um, 
So a 35 millimeter and up really helps to sort of take that out of the equation and let you focus on the composition and the color and the contrast and the shapes within the photograph. And so it goes without saying that this is only my vision. I, uh, I love cinema, I love the way it makes me feel like I'm in a story. Um, and I'm glad that I found out my vision early on and sort of found out the nuances of why I want to choose, uh, choose a certain framing or a certain lens to get my perspective. Um, and so if, there's, if you feel it's natural for you to take a certain kind of lens and use it in a certain kind of way, may, maybe try and look at what is actually the, the overarching reason why you are choosing that naturally and, and effortlessly. And in knowing that, and of course it comes from experience as well, you, you, you really do want to try everything before you settle on the specifics of what your style is. Um, I think it's a lesson in life to say that you, you can't say no to something until you've tried it first. And Photography is the same way. Um, I know that some friends of mine use wide angle lenses all the time to great effect. Um, I certainly do use them. I use a 24mm if I'm doing a, a party or an event. It really helps with that. Um, you get that sort of snapshot feel when you use a wide angle lens, which is what we're so used to, um, especially with phones, which are roughly 26 to 28 millimeter in perspective. I advise maybe to go through your photos and, and just look at the reasons why you, take, you took them that way and why why those ones that you really love are the way they are. So I hope you've got something out of this video. Um, vision is really important to me nowadays because I've, I've been doing it for a while so I can sort of say that this is, this is the reason why I choose these um, techniques that I use and it's really helped me become consistent in my work, in the way my colour is processed, in the way my framing is set up, um, in the choice of lenses that I use. Um, so if you'd like to drop a comment, just uh, please do so and uh, like, subscribe if you want to see me on Instagram. I'm Nick J. Bedford on Instagram and um, I'll see you for next time. Bye.